So, Mama Hanifa, tell me um, about the Freedom School. Exactly what is the Freedom School? So our Freedom School program um, is essentially um, a program that we activists within the city of Detroit came together and developed to address the concerns that we had over the miseducation, the undereducation of our children as a result of the Detroit Public Schools being taken over um, through the uh, state, through the emergency management. Um, we realized that our children were not getting the education that they deserved. We recognized that the initial African-centered culturally relevant and responsive curriculums that were at one time a part of the entire Detroit public school system under uh, Dr. Da Dahia Shabaka was no longer a part of what was happening in our schools. Our children were just in a state of just total chaos and we felt like enough is enough if we cannot transform the schools immediately not to say that we are not about transforming the schools but we knew that we needed an immediate um um solution so to speak and community conversation and out of the community conversation the detroit independent freedom schools movement was born uh dr gloria house we also affectionately know her as mama anel mama anel kigo sipsile who is also an original SNCC member she is um uh Professor Emeritus at uh, University of Michigan, Dearborn, came together with some others and Freedom School was born. Uh, we have a unique situation here at the Shrine because we actually have two programs, but they are both under the umbrella of Freedom School. So we have our Food Warriors Youth Development Program. Our Food Warriors Program um, is an urban gardening, health and nutrition education program. But our Food, Pro Food Warriors Program also grew out of the work that we were doing at a small African Senate Academy in Sodoma Institute here in the city of Detroit. I taught at in Sodoma um, for 12 years, as a matter of fact, three of our um, Freedom School volunteers, well, four of us, the Freedom School volunteers are actually educators who came out of In Sodoma Institute. Food security at In Sodoma was always an integral part of our curriculum. And when we began to see um, what was happening in terms of the food landscape in the city of Detroit, young white suburbanites coming into the city and uh, establishing community gardens without uh, the input of the community, meaning black folk who have always been here and who knows more about growing food than we do and not engage in the community, we saw that not only as an insult, but as a problem, especially when our children, when all they see things that are good, things that are life affirming, life sustaining, coming from someone who does not reflect their image, that is psychologically harmful to our children. And again, community conversation. And out of that community conversation, the Detroit Black Community Food Security Network was born. 
the Food Warriors Youth Development Program, which I coordinate. I'm also a founder of the a founding member of the organization, and I serve as the Education and Outreach Director. Um, the Food Warriors Program is our youth development um, arm of the program. So Food Warriors started first, and then Freedom School. And so because they are actually two sides of the same coin, because what it's all about is developing our young people so that they understand that it's about being best self, the theology that we teach in our church, but what does that look like? What does that look like? Being my best self. So these programs are about helping them to identify their innate gifts and talents, being able to develop those talents, but most importantly, understanding that your gifts and talents are about you creating a better space for all of us. And so that's why you hear me talk about things like Serush Ta, mm -hmm. healing and restoration, and always reaffirming that we are not, um, how can I put that? We are about community and um, self determination and that does not happen in a vacuum and everything that you do is about your development to your optimal capacity so that you can use those gifts and talents to inspire others around you so that we together can create the world that we want to see.